Hello everyone, Blackthorn here, and today I wanted to do a mask review on my JD Morgan Studios Frank the Bunny mask from the film Donnie Darko. And if you guys have never seen Donnie Darko, I highly recommend you guys check it out. It's a very interesting film, to say the least. It's a film that was released, I believe, in the year 2000, and it's gained a really big cult following, and it's a favorite to many. And it's just one of those movies where it just makes you think more. And it's, it's one of those movies where you have to rewatch, you know, to kind of like grasp certain details that you probably missed on the first watch. But yeah, I definitely recommend the movie. And this mask was made by J.D. Morgan Studios. J.D. Morgan has done masks for Universal Studios and other several companies. And he's responsible for making the Purge mask. He's also done the baby mask from Happy Happy Death Day. And he's also done the mask, the yellow mask from Hellfest, the one that the killer wears. And yeah, he's responsible for making all those masks. And he does an awesome job. And uh, he offers the Frank the Bunny mask. And it's, it's as screen accurate as you can get. And it's a big step up from the Don Post Studios Frank the Bunny mask. I've I've seen several pictures of it. I've seen a review on it on YouTube, and it was it was pretty good for what it was. But uh, this mask, it's it's a more independent mask, and it's just a bigger bang for your buck. And the mask is beautiful. Once I received it in person, I, I was shocked how big the box was. The mask is actually a lot bigger than its photos, so just keep a heads up for that. And yeah, I want to go over the details on this mask, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Alright, so the base mask is done in this very tough material, if you guys can hear that. It's kind of like done, I want to say, in a possible resin material. It's, I think it's resin, I'm not sure if it's resin, plastic. But yeah, it's very durable, very sturdy. It has a lot of fur on the back. It's a separate piece that's connected to the mask. And I'm going to remove the mask from its stand. I want to give you guys a full in depth view. I have it stuffed right now. But yeah, this is the mask. It has this very beautiful metallic silver sheen to it. If you, uh, you know, put a lot of light on it, it reflects beautifully. And the eyes have this awesome... It's kind of like a... A gloss seal to it, to protect the eyes. And the mask is extremely sturdy. And I call it the bib. The bib of the mask is fairly large too. So if you decide on wearing it, it's going to cover a lot of your neck, so you won't see what's under the mask, which is an, always an awesome touch. And the, the, the teeth are pretty detailed as well. You, know, you can see the little crack there. It also has the same gloss as seen in the eyes, just to give it that more detailed look. But yeah, very screen accurate. Awesome mask. And uh, the visibility for the mask, if you decide to wear it with a costume someday, the mask has these slits right above the eye holes, I mean right above the eyeballs. And it has, you guys can't see that, but it has like mesh material around here. So once you wear it, you'll be able to see through the mask, but the person that's looking at you will not be able to see your eyes in the mask, which is always a great touch. But yeah, the mask is very large. Um, the back of the mask does not have a slit, so you would just have to fit it on. There's the inside of the mask, I have it stuffed. Yeah, it's very large, so you don't have to worry about having, you know, a huge, small head. The opening's fairly large, very detailed mask. And there's his big ears. There's a black wash on the inside. 
there as well. But yeah, I want to measure this mask real quick for you guys. So the face mask part of the entire mask in itself is about 15 and a half inches. Alright guys, so I just wanted to measure the mask real quick. So the face mask itself is about, say, 15 and a half inches. And with the fur, it's like, kind of like, I want to say like around like 20 inches around there so it's a there it's a fairly large mask and yeah it's just a very cool piece to add to your Donnie Dargo collection I do plan on having some posters I have a little like poster set up and just put my blu-ray next to the mask or do something like you know like a really neat display but yeah I highly recommend the mask and I want to go over the inside of the mask so you guys can get a pretty good idea on what the interior looks like. So right now I just removed the stuffing of the mask to give it that shape. It's uh, it's actually very lightweight. It's not even a heavy mask. Pretty lightweight. And it's a mask where you won't have to worry about it. Like I could see this lasting for a very long time. So the inside of the mask has this like soft material and on the inside I don't know if you guys can see that make some room in here there's this little strap that it has some pretty good elasticity and you just stretch it out fit your head inside and it snug like snugs your face perfectly. It also has a sponge to have comfort towards your forehead. But yeah, I'm gonna do a worn shot of this mask just to give you guys a better idea. Alright guys, so this is the mask worn. It's it's fairly well it's a mask where you kind of know what to expect the visibility isn't 100% awesome like some masks the visibility is kind of like 50 50 it's pretty good it's not too bad it's not too great either but uh, I don't really plan on wearing this like mask for too long I mainly wanted to get it for a display piece I wanted to have something to go with my Donnie Darko Blu-ray and my Donnie Darko poster as it's one of my favorite movies of all time but yeah the mask is really beautiful and it just looks incredible with this stand once you have it all set up stuff properly the mask looks incredible yeah very awesome mask well guys that's pretty much it Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys next time.